Hey guys, Sarah Ansbury here today, and I got a big question for you. Should you shuffle or should you step? That is one thing that you see a lot. I get a lot of questions about this. And when I first started playing pickleball, this is what they taught me. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. And one of those ideas was it keeps the ball in front of your hips. Here's the problem with shuffling. It is so horribly bad on your ankles and your hips and your knees and all those types of things. So if I'm shuffling side to side, look how many steps I have to take to get that ball. And now what I really want want to do is step okay so if I could take one step in each direction look how much ground I can cover and it's a comfortable okay now the other thing that I kind of see people see is notice that when I'm turning and stepping I'm I'm turning my toes okay so what you're doing here is you're keeping the ball in front of you in front of your hips okay your knees are in the correct direction your weights in the correct direction so when you look at this back toe, this is actually allowing my weight to move in a forward. So what I see people end up doing is they end up lunging or hopping, and now they're, this is hurting my growing muscle a lot right now, but this is what I see people doing. They're, you know, they're doing this, and they're doing this, and they're getting kind of crazy. Well, the reality is, if the ball's over here and I'm doing this, that's behind me. So when you want to move more efficiently on the court in a faster, easier motion, you want your body to work for you. So, from here, okay, my center position, now see where my hips are underneath me, and what I always say, think about this, if you had a button underneath your big toes, press those buttons. When you press the buttons, the weight comes up off your heels, your hips get under you a little bit. Now, from this position, I can turn and step and turn and step and now I'm leading with my paddle now uh, you see a lot of players out there who are six feet five six you know big big guys I'm pretty small okay so I need all the range of motion I can get okay? as I'm moving I can't just sit there and reach everything and jump and everything because I'm five foot five I'm getting up in my age, hey, my body doesn't like me all the time because I have a lot of injuries and all these types of things. So I see people kind of like doing this motion. Now if I've got, if I'm nice and tall and I've got a nice range of motion, then maybe I can do that, okay? So I can still expand to that or, you know, different body types, let's say, but your average player, the vast majority of people out there, when you're learning to play pickleball, what we're really looking at is turn and keep the ball in front of your body. Keeps your head still, keeps your knees and your joints liking you a little better. If I'm down here, okay, and I'm shuffling like this, okay, this is a lot of impact and it's a lot of strain on my body. But remember that thing I said about the, the buttons underneath your toes? Right now, those buttons are up, okay, because from this position, a squat, a good squat means weight in your heels, okay? That is a very difficult position to sustain and maintain and comfortably hit a ball. So if I'm squatting like this, look at this range of motion that I have, okay? So now I'm shuffling. That ball's not going very far. What I want, if I'm stepping to the ball, now it allows a longer follow through because in an ideal world, if I'm hitting below the net, I want my paddle to finish above the net. And if I'm always below the net, the paddle is going to stay below the net. So when you're doing this, thinking about getting in a position that is lighter and easier on your body, but also puts you in a better position to make contact above the net on a more regular basis. If you're scrunching up and doing the crab walk, it's going to be very difficult for you to be taking balls up here in a high to low position instead of a low to high position. So think about what's best on your body. Think about how your body works. And again, like always, let's play pickleball for a lot longer.